Hey, welcome guys. This is Pop Trick Productions, and uh, today I'm just going to show you um, a little tutorial, just a little update that I've been working on. And it's about my previous tutorial on how to create this, this um, glass effect. Now, uh, this is something I just found out, and I was messing around with it. And now it looks like tinfoil, which looks pretty cool. And it looks like metal or tinfoil or whatever you want to call it. And it looks like silver flames maybe. But it just looks awesome this way. Um, now I'm just going to teach you how to make this. And it looks a lot, a lot more professional. And it looks cool. So um, I'm just going to open up a new one. And this time uh, I was just making my own banner. But if I make it into a par being a partner then maybe I was thinking if I could put it on my channel. But um... This is just a little practice, maybe. Um, yeah. Okay. So, if you want to put your username on it or so somebody's name, then I would recommend 800 by 200 pixels. Like, okay. Okay. And then, um, as the same thing, you're just ba basically doing the same thing with whatever you want. Um, I will just put like that. Okay. And um, then you're gonna go to effects once more and you're going to click drop shadow and you're going to change the degrees to 90 once again and then you're going to come down to bevel and emboss change this to this one you know and then change the opacity to 70 percent and go to blending options default and change the fill opacity to whatever you want depending on how transparent how much color you want on it um, click OK. And then it should look like this as my previous tutorial showed. And then you're going to come down and filter. And then go to stylize and go to wind. Uh, click OK on that. Um, and then it's going to look like this. It looks a bit dull here. You can make it a wind, blast, or a stagger. Which is just crazy. Don't do stagger. I would just recommend wind. You could do it from left or to the right. Okay, and that's how you do it. Um, if you want to maximize the amount of, if you want to just keep going, make it more windy, click Control F, and it's gonna keep going. And click Control F again if you want it to be like that. You could click it as much as time as you want, depending on how much wind you want on it. Um, yeah, that's basically my tutorial. Um, after you have the glass effect text. You could just mess around with it even more. You could go to the filter and you could make a bunch of cool stuff. Like, um, let's see, the texture maybe. You could go to stained glass. I've tried that before. You could you could distort, distort it and put it on glass because it's a glass text. Maybe you could just do that. Um, yeah, that would work. Click OK. Well, um, I, I'm not really good at doing that, but, well, you could also put noise in, you could be artistic and put in a bunch of other cool stuff like a sponge, smudge stick, rough pastels, and plastic wrap maybe, let's try that, I don't know, I don't really know how to work these things, but you could eventually be able to, I don't know, not that good at these. Um, just want to say, uh, that's basically sort of all my tutorial, um, it's just another cool way of using that font and the text, it just looks a little bit cooler. Um, thanks for watching, and subscribe.